Hi, this is the third video in the series where we're looking at the Pearson Edexcel Revision Guide. Now there is actually a workbook that goes with it. This is the workbook and it's full of lots and lots of examples of the kind of questions by grade that you're going to get at GCSE. There's also a really good app that goes alongside this and if you follow the link in the description below that will take you through to the Pearson website. Please do have a look at the kind of resources that they've got there. So what we're going to we're doing is going to be question three of page one okay now it's actually on factors and primes now question three I've written it into the description below so you can follow it word for word if you want to it's a little bit tricky to kind of work out but hopefully this video will help for you to have a look at what they're trying to achieve so what they say is that 45 equals 3m times n and our job is to find out the value of m and n when both of them are prime numbers so they are prime numbers okay so let's just have a look at what m could be now hopefully you've kind of recognized that m is an index it's um oops it's an index or a power or an indice. So just on um, uh, a, an idea, really, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, in that case, I'm just going to write that as three squared. It's the lowest index that I can think of that's very easy for me to calculate because three squared is nine. Well, actually, that's looking really good because I can then say, well, multiply by n. If I multiply that by five, then I get 9 times 5, and guess what? That equals 45. So actually, that answers my question, because 2 is a prime number, so that ticks that box, and also 5 is a prime number, so that ticks that box. So m is going to be equal to 2, and n is going to be equal to 5. OK, so a little bit tricky when you first look at these kind of questions, but if you just kind of follow it through logically, then hopefully uh, you should come up with a solution that will gain you the marks. All right, please do add a comment below. If you're not sure about anything, I'll always come back to you. Um, have a look at the other playlists on the channel. There's plenty of examples of um, certainly HCF and LCM. Uh, these particular questions, there's probably a few fewer, but I'll try try to add some more in the next few weeks. I look forward to seeing you in video number four, which is going to be the fourth question on the first page of the Edexcel workbook. Look forward to seeing you very soon.